in Skagway. I need to write more lyrics to that. Yeah, it's, you have a song and it's not very good. What? Hello, mountains. Yeah, it's... I'm sad that we're not going to get good weather here because it is beautiful here. I think we pretty much have to assume that we're going to get poor weather from here on out because that is what this area is used to having. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. We are getting ready for the day ahead of us. We'll see you shortly for breakfast and such. Good morning friends! We're in Skagway as you just saw from the clip and the time lapse. We are pulling into the dock right now with the Celebrity Millennium, I believe, is here as well. And now we are going to go up to the buffet, get some breakfast. Our tour is in a little over an hour. So eat! Watch them slowly, slowly, slowly pull into this dock because it seems to be taking forever. Slowest parallel park. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't do it. I really should not be talking. <laughs> like, they're so slow. Yeah, because I could dock a mega ship. And then we are heading into Skagway because our excursion is first thing this morning. We are going to go meet some sled dogs and learn about mushing and I guess learn how to make s'mores. Yeah, there's something about s'mores I at the end. We're really just in it for the puppies. I think I know how to make s'mores, but yeah. maybe there's a technique that I have not learned yet. You ready for breakfast? Yes. Let's do it. Off the ship in Skagway. Got some more painted rocks over here. You know which one we're looking for, I bet. on the bus. But I can't stop doing slow pans because it's beautiful here. The original train depot building is the one up on the corner of the street on the left hand side here. The pink building with the yellow trim. Uh, today it is the National Park Visitor Center but yeah during the gold rush that was the train depot there. Those tracks that we just crossed actually used to run right down the center of Broadway. And this was called Broadway because it was the broadest or widest street in town. Nearing the tail end of the gold rush, they did relocate those train tracks to allow for uh, more different kinds of traffic to come through town here. That's characteristic of the many uh, glacier-fed and meltwater run-up rivers here in uh, southeast Alaska. Uh, Skagway River is fairly short, only about seven miles in length. But in that seven mile stretch, it tumbles 3,500 feet from the tops of these mountains and kind of rushes right down out to the ocean. Uh, it's a very swift moving river, and so other than a couple Dolly Varden, it doesn't really have many fish in it. Oh, 
Uh, well, welcome to welcome to Mushy Camp. It, it's a uh, it's a nice day. It's um, it usually it pours out rain here, and, and you may know this. You're in the Tongass Rainforest. It's a, you can see your whole cruise. It's the second largest rainforest in the world, and uh, pretty soon it's going to be the long the biggest. And it rains quite a bit, and that's why we have this waterfall, and everything's so nice and green. And so, um, has it, who's heard of the Iditarod? Okay, who's heard of the Yukon Quest? Nobody yeah. ever has. Okay, I'll tell you about. Because well, we have two big thousand mile races in Alaska. Everybody's heard about Diderod. You can win lots of money. It's like it's like Super Bowl for us. It's the first week in March, and we get really excited. It goes from Anchorage all the way to Nome, and um, we always have our favorite. We cheer for that person to win, but we root for everybody because if they make it to the starting line, we really want to see them get to the finish. But we have another race called the Yukon Quest, which is a thousand miles. It's my hometown race. It starts in Fairbanks. It goes right through my neighborhood. And it goes over here to Whitehorse, which is the capital of the Yukon. It's right up the road from here. And then every year it goes a different direction. And it's a harder race because it's earlier in the winter. It's the first weekend of February. It's a lot yeah. colder. Uh, the the Iditarod has 26 checkpoints and villages along the way where you can go inside and get warm and reprovision. And the Quest, it only has eight. So you got to be really good about traveling really far and camping out in sub-zero uh, temperatures. And then now the cruel people like me called dog handlers. A dog handler... I did that a lot when I was a kid. You just go pick up poop for all the rich people, and then you get to learn how to do it too and work with them. <laughs> so, so in the Iditarod, uh, about 90% of them are professional mushers. They they do this every year. They have really big kennels, and everybody else is people like me. It's something that I always dreamed about doing since I was a kid. I never thought I'd ever get to do it, and I did. And now I can't stop thinking about how how can I do it again. Hi! Are you so excited? Oh, 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 oh. That's really good! Thank you for telling me that! Pepper definitely has Alaskan Husky in her. Oh, she makes sure. that exact sound. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. A oh, whale? Well. Oh. Oh boy, they love it. <laughs> love your eyebrows. Very on fleek. This is so cool. Seriously, the greenest place I've ever been. <laughs> Mushers camp. Super quaint. They put a lot of love into this area. It's really well made and to see the dogs is really cool. There are only eight of us on this tour right now, which is really cool. It was really yeah. personalized. Going up, seeing a beautiful waterfall, eating some s'mores first thing in the morning. You really can't go wrong. I like this one. Yeah. I think this is one of the cheaper excursions that I chose too. Yeah. And I, I mean, of the two, 
I, th I think I enjoyed this as much as well. Watching. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's great if you love dogs. I will say if you can get the earlier reservation for it because yeah. it definitely seems like it's the usual thing for there to be fewer people on that. Yep. And there's only like eight dogs. Yeah, so. there's there were 10 dogs total, I think. Yeah. So. so if you're in a group of 20 people, you're not going to get a lot of time with dogs. But I got to pet the dog for like five minutes. Well, that's because that dog loved you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a good scratcher. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely recommend. We're going to head back. It's about a 30 minute bus ride here. We're going to head back into town and then start exploring the town because it's like, what did she say? It's five blocks and one mile, the whole town. Yeah, five blocks wide, one mile long. And we're going to hit it all. I don't think we're going to, well, obviously we won't hit it all because a lot of that's like residential. That's but... five miles. Let's go. <laughs> well, um, yeah. I don't, I don't know how things work. Okay, we'll see it. We'll see keep you showing you around. Oh, would you just look at the majesty of it all. Oh, nice. And we're off. We are off. We're in town. We're gonna skag our way. Yeah. Ugh, oh, God, I'm gross. I hate myself. <laughs> Look at this, man. That's pretty old timey. Yeah. Stopped in at the local grocery store, which is about a 20th of our local giant eagle. I just like can't not look up. This place is so cool. It's so cool here. I love it. Seems real bad for us. Oh, well, we're on vacation. Okay. <laughs> it's like a funnel cake, but without all the air. It's the best, it's like the best part of a funnel cake. It's good. I don't know how it couldn't be. Mm. Just like a vaguely sweet dough that you fry and then mm. cover in cinnamon sugar. Want a bite? Yeah. It's really hot. My hand is starting to burn. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Today, I have had a giant piece of French toast, a sticky bun, <laughs> s'mores, and now fried dough. <laughs> I'm sorry to my stomach and all of the fat I am putting on, but... You're gonna need to get your own. It's the best, isn't yeah, it? It's pretty great. You can have it back. Okay, thanks. Driftwood building. It's the business center. That's pretty funny. And, and. Um, it's almost noon, so not too early. Beer. But, I mean, Come on. I mean, come There's on. two breweries here. You knew we had to. We're gonna hit them both. Let's Just do that. Yeah, let's do it. The beer is here. This is their spruce tip blonde ale. Mm -hmm. And then that's just... Pale? The other four. Yep, uh, so. brown quarter. So excited. I had to get the Alaskan king crab roll because it's Alaska. Come on now, look at this. It's like more crab than anything. This is amazing. Jake got crab artichoke dip because he's a wild man. Yeah, I'm saying like 
This is your second artichoke dip, dip of the trip. Yeah. That's a little strange. I thought crab would just be everywhere. I haven't seen crab legs on the menu. Yeah, we haven't seen crab legs. We haven't gone to like a crab leg place, but maybe in the next couple of days. Yeah. Gagway Brewing Company. Oh, yeah. Worth a shot? Absolutely. Yeah, that was I think great. The food was great. The food was really good. Unique yeah. beers. For sure. Good. It was, you know, if you want to get off the ship, get something a little bit different. Yeah, do some for stimulating. Lunch. Yeah. It, don't say it like that. It's That's what it is. I know, but it was good. I liked it a lot. Next. Okay. okay. I would like a picture in front of the snow plant. Oh. Tide of stamp eaters. Central control. Brewery number two. Klondike Brewing Company. What do you think lives under there? Okay. Well. We have breweried. We've breweried. We've shopped. Yeah. Got some important things that we needed. Like, uh... Some flannels. And some flippy floppies. <laughs> so, we are going to head back to the ship. Yeah. And we're going to go to the spa. We're going to go to the spa. We're going to do the rooms and it'll be fun. Uh-huh. Let's do it. Yeah. It's cold. It's too cold. <laughs> it's cold. We went the wrong way. About it, but no, it's too cold, man. I think this is how it ends for us. Went the wrong way. It's cold. Here we are. Ow. Found a crab legs in Taylor. <laughs> uh, you really know how to ruin a shot. Uh, I mean, smiling. Enhance it. I'm smiling. Can't see him, but Jake's standing in the snow room. Can't see him. He's gonna freeze. We're spying. I don't really think we're spying. <laughs> I like it. I don't. I'm gonna relax. Okay. Quick wardrobe change, and we're off again for our evening festivities. What are we doing? We're, I'm not sure. We have to take a picture of something and then, uh, um, yeah, and then dinner at some point, drinks maybe. You got a hair on you. And <laughs> we have a comedy show tonight. Ah, yes. Comedy and such. Comedy and such, so. Right. Ready? Yes. <laughs> ended up back at Sugar Cane because I think this might be my favorite bar on the ship so far. I'm not surprised. I like mojitos. Yeah. They're, they're tropical and I like love tropical drinks. So. I just like little tiny umbrellas. You can take it tomorrow in case it rains. It's a good idea. Take a, a Floridita, which is like a... Uh, it's rum, grapefruit, juice. Oh, that's why. Shandler. There are um, the chandeliers behind us. I was like, you took on this like green. sickly green... Um, well, now they're blowing something, so it should be better. Yeah, but it, it's like a grapefruit-based mojito, and then I got the coconut-based mojito. Yeah. That's a big slice of pineapple. We have the biggest pineapples here, man. We came to the last sit-down, complimentary sit-down restaurant tonight. Um, Savor. Which is directly across from Case. Essentially the same exact thing. Same menu as that in the Medi the Manhattan room. So we'll show you our food. Okay, at the start I got an Asian noodle salad. I don't even think I've ever had a cold Asian noodle salad. So looking looking forward to trying this. Udon noodles. Yeah, I love udon noodles. And then Jake got a 
ravioli. Yeah, smoked ravioli and a lobster sauce of some kind. He's, he's, becoming, a, he's becoming a crustacean man. This is your second? I know, today. Today. I had the crab already choked up, but now this. Wow. Who are you? Intro to show. Wow. Okay, I got the uh, Mediterranean um, sirloin meat skewer of some kind. The saffron rice, a little arugula salad on top. Looks like some veggies on there, and a grilled lemon. Ooh, there's mushrooms in this. I got the um, lemon pepper shrimp with orzo and mushrooms and arugula. I gotta take the tails off though. Can't just eat them whole. <laughs> Very. It's good. I've had a couple bites. I like the mushrooms. And we are back from the comedy show. There was no filming or photography in there, so right. couldn't show you any of it. Sorry. It was very funny. I mean, funny. they get professional comedians in here. Yep. His set was sort of, like, ruined by an old lady in the derailed front row. Derailed by an old woman. Absolutely was, derailed. Really, like, she was not that funny, but just the, the material that she gave him was gold. Yeah. So I would say definitely check out at least one comedy show. There's mm -hmm. actually three comedians on board. Oh. They don't, I don't think they perform every night, but they perform several nights, yeah. so definitely worth catching, because he was, he was funny, and it's always good to, like, see a comedy show. Overall, oh, today was great. Skagway was amazing. I absolutely love it here. Yeah, good place. Good people. Yeah, everyone was so friendly. The tour was great. The town is so quaint, and it is so beautiful. It's like, I, I know I'll never experience anything like this town ever again. Just the location, and it was really amazing. So, so glad to get to see this, and hopefully I can come back someday, because I really, really liked it a lot. Yeah. It was really cool. But tomorrow we are heading to Juneau for half a day. Um, the morning is in Juneau, and then we leave around 1 to do the Endicott Arm and the Dawes Glacier if the weather co cooperates and we can actually do it. I know sometimes if the water, if it's really foggy, they can't make that mm -hmm. pass. So we'll see, obviously. Hopefully we can do it. Um, it's pretty cool, and they open up the front of the ship. You can actually go up onto the front of the ship, and I really, really want to do At least on this cruise. I yeah, 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 yeah. Cruise. I really want to do that. So um, I'm <laughs> not going to tell you what we're doing in next week's video as our tour. We have our fingers crossed. We're really, really hoping we can do it. It's all going to be weather dependent, but you're going to have to stick around for the next 10 seconds because I'm sure I'm going to put it in the clip. It'll probably be in that part that plays at the end so you can click it. So, yeah, definitely check that out. And we hope to see you next week. Subscribe if you want to see that video because it's bound to be a good one if it happens and if not we'll make a fun video anyway so no worries yeah we're fun people we're fun people just for us click that Watch bell us. icon if you want to get a notification when our videos go out you know share this video with your friends give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions if you All that. if you liked it if you like the sled dogs today comment if you like the sled dogs oh my god so how could you not i love, I love them <sighs> and until next time God, I hate it. <laughs> Stay magical. Or do we want to go further? No, this is good. Okay. Oh, oh. Just the, the giraffe. <laughs>